Welcome to episode ten sixty seven. Richard Hain, from hippie to billionaire. Richard Hain is the co-founder of Urban Outfitters, very popular among young college educated crowd. This is an outline of episode ten sixty seven. This is the outside of the famous Urban Outfitters store. Let us meet the secretive founder. Richard Hain. A number of buildings in Center City. As a matter of fact, we were negotiating on two separate buildings: one near the Schuylkill River on the west side of Center City, and another down more toward Old City. And for various reasons, we didn't complete those negotiations. A lot of the times when we were negotiating with landlords, one of the factors, believe it or not, was we weren't allowed to have dogs in the buildings.、Uh, and an awful lot of our employees have dogs and want to bring them to work. And so we need something a little alternative. Our company's a little alternative. Our company tends to be a little bit more creative than typical companies, and we wanted a space that reflected that. So the buildings here at the Navy Yard、uh, were perfect for us. He was born in Philadelphia in 1947. 1969, he earned a degree in anthropology from Lehigh University in Pennsylvania. I'm always interested in the first job of a billionaire. Well, there was no first job. He went to Alaska and worked as a volunteer for Vista. More importantly, he met his first wife, Judy Wicks. There, there were three co-founders of Urban Outfitters. Surprisingly, the idea did not come from Richard Haynes, but from his college roommate Scott Belair. Who in 1970 was studying at U Penn Lawton. It was a project for an entrepreneurial class at University of Pennsylvania. Scott Belair got an A for this class, and also made hundreds of millions of dollars from it. The Free People Store was started by Richard Hain and his first wife Judy Wicks. Just four thousand dollars. These are leftist anti-war hippies. A year later, Richard Hain and Judy Wicks divorced. In 1976, with the end of the Vietnam War, the Free People Store was renamed Urban Outfitters. Four years later, the second Urban Outfitters was opened in Cambridge, Massachusetts, right next to Harvard University. In 2020, Urban Outfitters has expanded to 641 stores worldwide, and Richard Hain is a very rich man. This is the stock price of Urban Outfitters through the years. With Urban Outfitters, for millions of young people across the country, Urban Outfitters is the store of choice for matching that just right pair of skinny jeans with that just right ironic T-shirt to wear while reading that just right crappy novelty book. Along with sister brands, in 1992 he founded the lifestyle brand Anthropology that catered to creative, educated, and affluent 30 to 45 year old women. It's named after his college major, which was anthropology. Today, there are about 200 anthropology stores worldwide. We're in the business of creative talent, Richard Hain. Expectations.、Uh, we spend an awful lot of time and effort、uh, and, and, and financial resources converting these buildings. Was a two-year project from the time we started the involvement of the architects to when we actually moved in. We've gotten many people who have come here on interviews who have said, "I have to work here." The company is based on the notion of creative talent, and whatever we can do to help attract that creative talent is really going to put us in a in a in a very favorable position. And what more can you ask for? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Richard Hain Nine Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.